Learning Module 2 focuses on the techniques used to analyze and reconstruct arguments. Our major goal is to be able to reconstruct an argument using the principles of faithfulness and charity. We'll apply these techniques to both simple and extended arguments. Additionally, we'll examine arguments that have missing premises, technically speaking. These are arguments that are categorical syllogisms known as enthymemes. We'll also look at arguments whose conclusions are missing, often purposefully, to produce a certain rhetorical effect. Finally, we'll distinguish between two fundamentally different types of inference, namely deduction and induction. As always, we need to be clear about our learning goals and outcomes. After completing this unit, you should be able to do the following. First, employ the techniques of faithfulness and charity in reconstructing arguments. Second, make explicit any missing premises or conclusions that an argument contains. Third, Reconstruct an argument using standard argument reconstruction format. And finally, distinguish between deduction and induction and be able to exemplify each of these distinctive patterns of inference. It's important to note that many internet sources inaccurately characterize deduction as reasoning from the general to the specific and define induction as reasoning from the specific to the general. Don't make this mistake. I can think of inductions that have generalizations in the premises and end up with very specific conclusions. Also, there are deductions that conclude with generalizations. So, to characterize deduction as moving from the general to the specific and induction as reasoning from the specific to the general is simplistic and misleading. I'd like to close with a reminder of how important the discussion board is for building our learning community. After you post your initial thread, you should read what others have written and reply substantively to three or four of your peers. Try to apply the concepts that you've acquired from reading the text and watching the video lectures. If you have constructive advice or a compliment to offer, please include them in your replies to others. And if you find that your views have evolved over the course of the forum, consider submitting an additional thread. I greatly admire students who have the intellectual maturity to change their minds after they've weighed what others have written. If you do these things, you'll be helping to foster what matters most in this course, the development of a vibrant learning community. Well, that's it. Let's get busy.